Good afternoon, viewers of YouTube. My name is Tyler of ChicoCrypto.com, here bringing you another episode of Crypto and looks like vodka today. Looks like today's guest is Sky Vodka. Um, this will all make sense in a second. I trust me. Gonna get me a mixer going right now. I can't drink vodka straight. Ugh. Well, actually, we'll put that out right there. Come on, let me mix it up. The skies are blue. So, the coin I'm about to talk to you guys about is Skycoin. Skycoin is an old coin that has been around the crypto block a time or two. In 2013, Skycoin realized that the Bitcoin network couldn't support true decentralization due to the considerable power and influences exerted on the network by the large mining groups. Now in late 2017, little has changed. Large mining farms and these influences have grown in dominance and strength. And this can be visualized by the recent and upcoming hard forks and network splits. These facts have led to Skycoin developing a new consensus algorithm to achieve true decentralization and solve the many outstanding issues associated with Bitcoin. So, Skycoin uses a protocol called Obelisk instead of the common proof-of-work or proof-of-stake consensus algorithms. The aim of the developers was to correct the major security flaws and centralizing tendencies that have plagued both proof-of-work and proof-of-stake algorithms. According to the Skycoin devs, in the early programming of Bitcoin, it was miscalculated that the mining process would provide economic incentive structures that would lead to de decentralization. If you look at the Bitcoin network, it is de facto controlled by five mining pools, which have been able to concentrate the majority of their network's hash power on their servers. Mining control is the biggest non-cryptographic threat to the Bitcoin network, as 51% attacks are possible once over 50% of the hashing power is confined to one actor. It is argued that this vulnerability isn't a big deal as actors who have invested large sums into the network depend on the survival of the coin's network. So in my opinion, that's not 100% true. Proof of work actually introduces a security and monopoly problem. Also with this, it implies that the operation is both economically and environmentally inefficient. So, proof of stake presents its own problems as well. Arguably, they are even more vulnerable to centralization in proof of stake. The size of the network's participants' holdings determine authority and voting power. To combat this, Skycoin uses a distributed consensus algorithm called Obelisk. So, Obelisk uses a network according to a web of trust. So let me try to explain this. Um, every node has a list of other nodes that it subscribes to, and the density of a node's subscriber list determines the node's influence on the network. So each node has its own personal blockchain, which acts as a public broadcasting channel where all of a node's actions are visible and recorded on that blockchain. So. All consensus decisions and communications occur through the node's personal blockchain, which lets the community very easily audit nodes for cheating and collusion. So, basically, if the community does not trust the nodes representing them, or feels that the power within the network is too concentrated, or not concentrated enough, the community is able to collectively shift the balance of power in the network by collectively changing their trust relationships in the network. The accountability of nodes to the community and third-party audits, as well as the transparency of consensus, solidifies overall decision-making and it introduces a highly democratic and decentralized element 
to the network. So nodes, they share blocks with each other. If there are bad blocks, you reject it. And so do your trusted peers. There can be malicious nodes, but they have no impact if you don't trust them. So a big question asked by the Skycoin community is how can we create a free and truly open internet? To answer and solve this question, Skycoin has developed Skywire, the second pillar of the Skycoin project. So Skywire can be defined as a new alternative internet. They aim to take control from large internet service providers and give it back to the actual users like me and you. So Skywire is based off of a new networking protocol called Multi-Protocol Label Switching or MPLS. So the benefits of MPLS include number one, speed, number two, quality of service, number three, reliability, and number four, security. These features allow maximum privacy and allow users to bypass ISPs and essentially become their own ISP. So a question you may be asking yourself, how does Skycoin fit into this? Skycoin is the currency of Skywire. When a user forwards traffic or provides network resources, they receive Skycoin. And the opposite, when a user consumes network resources, they spend Skycoin. So here is where things get interesting, folks. The third pillar. This is the Skywire. Trying to get a little Sky Vodka for the Skywire, if you know what I'm talking about. So I guess you could technically call the Skywire a miner. It functions as a miner for Skycoins and acts as a specialized VPN. You plug in the hardware and it VPNs your whole house and all its connections. Pretty freaking cool. So the hardware specs of the uh, um, Skywire Miner. It's eight CPU boards, two gigabytes of RAM per board, four CPU cores per board, 64 gigabytes of storage per board, 64-bit Linux gigabit ethernet, eight plus one port switch, each board features an ARM processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and anywhere from 32 to 256 gigabytes of flash storage. So server hardware of the Skywire Miner is segmented that if one service is compromised, the other services can't be. So the model does not have SATA, but they will have a model with it where you could essentially hook up 16 by 2 terabyte drives and download half of the Pirate Bay to a cluster on the Skywire mesh net. So the next pillar of the Skycoin project is the Sky Ledger. This is a platform that is similar to the ERC-20 of Ethereum, but better according to Skycoin for these reasons. So, number one, they give every coin their own blockchain, and the platform runs on top of the Skywire infrastructure, and you can get fees from that. They also have a programming language of their own, CX, and it's not smart contracts. They let developers of each chain hard code whatever they want to do. The fifth and final pillar is an ecosystem of apps being built on these three things. Sky Messenger, which is an anonymous instant messenger, so you can send uh, messages to other people by public keys. The second part is distributed social media, kind of like Steam it, but you get to decide on the algorithm for your feed. And the third part is a file sharing and Dropbox type functionality like storage. So, in my personal opinion, the project is undervalued. Looking at the price, Skycoin has been seeing consistent gains in the past few weeks, in spite of all the hard fork bullshit out there. Currently, one Skycoin is trading just above $4, which gives it a small market cap of only $23 million. Circulating supply is also small, with just over 5 million coins circulating. So, you can see where massive gains can be made with this project, when it gets its time in the spotlight.
and I think that will be soon because their Skywire Miner is releasing very soon. There's new developments happening every day. There's consistent work being done on GitHub. Some of the most I've seen, actually. So this project gets a seal of approval from Chico Crypto and some of my hard-earned dollars. Cheers, Skycoin. And viewers, if you'd like to check out Skycoin or any of the wallets, um, any more information, I'll leave uh, a link to the website in the description as well as the link to the wallet. So viewers, enjoy your Monday afternoon. Have a great day.